Hi hey everyone, this is Jose Trujillo, fine art painter, coming to you from the corner of my art studio. I hope we have enough light. Uh, I know some of my videos are not, you know, all that well lit, well lit, but I'm working on it, you guys. Here I am, okay? I'm right here. <laughs> I'm just going to put on my trusted glove, ready to operate. And my trusted Starbucks. Bam! Mr. Howard Schultz, if you were watching this, please send some love. Send some love this way. Supply some Starbucks. Do it. You can do it. Alright. Today I'm going to make something slightly different, you guys. Uh, I got this awesome uh, pencil. Kind of like a... Like a what is it? Kind of graphic crayon or something? I don't know, something like that. I like uh, using it for my some of my drawings. Sometimes when I do more, you know, drawy type of uh, things, <laughs> drawy type of things. So I'm gonna do a fisherman. So here we go, fisherman. Let's do a fisherman. Let's do a fisherman. Let's do a fisherman. Let's do a fisherman. All right, guys. Please uh, detect the sarcasm. I'm only playing. I don't. I don't really uh, intend to become a singer <laughs> ever. <laughs> so. Uh, To the fisherman. All right, what do you guys think so far? There's nothing happening so far, right? But it's all right, you know. Nevertheless, let's uh, let's not lose hope. Let's never lose hope. If I mean, for God, if we ever lose something, please let it be something else, not not hope. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Something like that. For those of you who didn't think that I actually drew like I painted, well, think again. I drew like I paint. I'm all over the place. Okay, so. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Something like that. There you go. There's my fisherman. You know you're holding it right here. And it goes like that. Okay. Let's make you a little bit more special right here. All right. And Put the water right here. Kind of like your water is up to your knees. Yeah, no, not so much knees, but something like that. There's my fisherman. All right. Let's make the fedora a little bit, or fishing hat, or whatever you want to call it. Let's make it a little bit bigger. That way he looks more, more like he's actually doing something awesome. And then back here, let's make a little horizon. Some happy little trees. Maybe there's another happy little tree. And yes, you're right here. And there's my line. There we go. Awesome. Fisherman. Okay? Why? Because I think it's super awesome, you guys. You know? It's impressionism. Keep it, keep it fun. Don't ruin it. <laughs> Don't ruin it. Keep it super fun. When you guys are drawing something, uh, 
like me right here, some instant stuff, some out of the out of the blue stuff. Um, let's do a little bolt right here. Keep it awesome, okay? Remember, it's your imagination, really. This stuff is awesome, I swear. Whatever that is, I don't know. Hey, I, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I'm not getting uh, anything out of it, so I don't know what the brand is. <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, so here we go, you guys. Look at that. Bam, bam. I could have started painting this without um, drawing it, you guys, but I decided to just to just start. Uh, Start the other way rather than just drawing it. I decided, you know what? I mean, other than just painting it, sorry. I told myself, you know what? I think people deserve to see some of the awesome stuff that I do too. You know, I like, I like to change it up. I like to change it up. And I think it's it's good to change it up here and there, okay? It's it's not uh, it's not too bad. Now <clears throat> I'm not a professor again by any means. I know that maybe some of you are tired. I know, dude, you're not a professor. You already told us. But um, <clears throat> one of the things that I like to do, if you guys want to hear some awesome stuff is don't worry about it. for those of you who haven't seen my other my other my other videos i'm not interested in detail in the beginning okay so that's why you see me do some wacky stuff because i'm not interested in that what i am interested in is getting my getting my uh how do you call this sort of uh Getting my idea of it first, getting 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 the the, the, the flow, the, the je ne sais quoi. Okay, guys, for those of you who are like uh, stuck on like what brushes do I use or whatever, look, look at this brush. <laughs> this has got to be like the cheapest brush I got. Okay, so that's why I tell you, like, don't get stuck on on on, on those ideas of what. Uh, who, who, what, where? <laughs> when it comes to this kind of stuff, okay? Because I will use anything and everything to get my point across, to get my artwork, okay? Now, Now remember what I told you guys, okay? I'm not interested right now in in the detail. I'm interested in getting it going. The detail part will come, the, the, the adjustments and all of that will come, but if you start with the adjustments, you'll miss the pinky. Yeah, that looks like a like a soldier now, or like what, what do they call those guys? The the uh, uh, those those troopers from uh, um, doesn't look a fisherman now. <laughs> looks like one of those troopers from Canada, one of those park troopers or whatever they're called. Uh, it's okay, you guys. Nevertheless, let's keep going. Okay. Nevertheless, we must keep going. The show must go on. Here we go. Let's do some of this awesomeness up here. Okay. This is some awesomeness because I will I will get back to it guys. There's there's a, a an intuitive reason, okay? An intuitive reason for the way I paint. So so just Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, you guys. I swear. 
I'm not making it on the fly. Or maybe I am. <laughs> I swear to you guys. All right. So, here we go. And in the distance, some of the awesome green might look a little bit olive Okay? Just a little bit. In the distance. Check it out, you guys. There we go. There we go. It's a working process. I'm gonna tie my shoe because it's not so awesome without my shoes tied. Ah, there we go. Man, I need to, I need to do some more exercise. I don't think I'm doing enough. Guys, if you if you if you have a problem tying your shoes <laughs> like me. Like if you start he heavily breathing, uh, you need to hit the gym more. That's what I need to do. All right. Why the red? Because I wanted to use the red as an undertone. Okay. Now, I'm going to use another brush. This is a 24 by 36 inches oil on canvas, guys, for those of you uh, who wonder. Now, this is very direct painting. This is, in other words, a la prima. Uh, those of you who like the art jargon, it just means it's done in one take. I don't come back to it. This is it very much the way the Impressionists, some of the Impressionists like to do it sometimes. I don't know. I, I think those guys are doing all kinds of crazy stuff that we will never know. And uh, it's the way that I like to paint. Um, I like to do my paintings in one take. Sometimes I'll get back to them. I don't like to. I'm very much used to just just uh, doing them in one take. But you no, know, sometimes I just I go bananas, and I'm like, all right, let's 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 get back to it. Let's see what what this day will look like, sort of. Let's see this. And this is a very much intuitive type of uh, painting, okay guys? So, you guys saw the, the drawing, the way that I just started. It's a... Uh,
It's one way to paint. <laughs> it's definitely not the only way to paint, but it's one way to paint. Alright, step back a little bit. And then I'm like, alright. Then let's move forward. And this is one of the things that I like to do. I like to sometimes go back and forth with my palette knife as well as with the brush. It just adds a, another dimension. This is one of the things that I like to do. I like to add little things here and there sometimes because it adds a whole different um, dimension to the, to the canvas, the painting itself, of course. So there we go. So the idea right there. Some more. And there's no wrong or right way, guys, of doing something like this. I just wanted to, you know, um, show you one of the, the many ways you guys can do it. There's no, there's no right or wrong way. There's no, uh, yeah, do, do I start with this or do I start with that? Uh, you can, you can, if, I mean, if you're doing anything like this, you can uh, paint, start painting without, those of you who are, 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 are looking to paint, right? You can start painting without drawing like I did. I showed some other videos where I think that that's very, it's very wise, I think, to, uh, to do some drawing with, with your paintbrush, right? In other words, not to rely on the on the crayon like I did. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what how I like to change it up. That's all. That's really all there is to it, you guys. Very simple stuff. There's not, you know, it's not too complicated. It's, it's. I don't think painting should be that complicated. I think if anything, painting should be enjoyable. Really, that's really what I'm. That's really what I'm after. Every time I paint, I'm after that. I'm after it. Is it, is it enjoyable? Then let's do it. If, if it's not enjoyable, let's, you don't have to stop painting, but maybe change the way you're doing it. The attitude, I think. Especially the attitude. Right? I feel like attitude is everything. spatula right here or the palette knife as some people like to call it the palette knife I like to call it the spatula but whatever you're most comfortable calling it doesn't really matter what you call it so here we go
I love doing this type of work. This is the kind of stuff that uh, really puts me in the zone and allows me to 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 uh, just go beyond what is what's uh, normal, you know, what's whatever we we call normal. It's more abstract, it's more I think per I personally think that that's what the um, impressionists were were looking at that they were trying to see uh differently right let's let's learn let's do what we've learned for this for all these years and let's Let's start changing it up. Let's start seeing something different. Let's start uh, not seeing something different, but start expressing ourselves in a different way. Maybe they weren't seeing something different, per se. But start expressing ourselves. I don't know. I find it super amazing that we can do all sorts of fun stuff with art. And remember, uh, when you're painting, there is there are no rules. I always try to uh, hammer that home. But the reason why there are no rules is because if there were rules, it wouldn't be painting, guys. There are things that you do. There are little, little you know, little things here and there. Uh, of course, like in all whole skill sets, but but you may discover something that, that is a no-no in, uh, in um, I don't know, when you're, when you're working on something. I've, I've, done, I've certainly done that many times where, where oh man, that's, that would be a no-no, but it feels so right. <laughs> That, that I'm just like, you know what, I don't care if it's a no-no, it's a yes-yes for me. And the, 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 what I mean is like, for example, um, uh, little like rules, right? Like simple rules, like there is uh, in the distance things are more, more abstract. Sometimes I do things, not, maybe not in this painting, but sometimes I do things more defined in the distance. And out of focus in the foreground. So that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. That's really what I'm talking about. But yeah, man, let me check it out. Let's have some fun with this.
Let's have some fun, yo. Let's have some fun with this. Someone's like, we got to go fishing. You know what guys, I've never been fishing. I've only seen people fish. So, maybe, uh, maybe we should try it one day. I don't know, it seems like it's, it seems like it's not for me. I'll tell you that. It seems like, it seems like fishing's for like someone who's like, uh, okay with a, with a weekend. I don't know, having fun somewhere in a, you know, it just doesn't seem like fishing's for me. Just because I'd be too impatient. <laughs> I'd be like, where's my fish now? <laughs> I don't know, maybe maybe it's not true. Maybe fishing is is something I could do. But who knows? Then again, right? I've only seen people having lots of fun. It looks like, I mean, I don't know. It looks like they're, it, it could be fun sitting there, but I, I, I don't think that, I don't think I'm the type of person that has fun sitting somewhere. I have to be like moving, doing something. All of a sudden I start sketching. <laughs> I actually do that when I go, <laughs> when I'm invited to, to somewhere Oh, like hiking or something, people ask me, hey, we should go hiking. I'm like, oh, sure. If they don't know me, they ask me, right? Oh, well, we should. Well, at least they used to more often. Now that they know me, they don't ask anymore. But they used to ask me a lot, oh, Jose, let's go hiking. And then I feel like they stopped asking because I would turn hiking into, a, into an experience of, of, you know what, I'm going to utilize this moment to sketch. They're like, no, why would you do that? Because I can. I don't know. I mean, to each their own, right? <laughs> but I am the type of artist that would, instead of hiking, I start sketching. Maybe, maybe I should hike. Maybe hiking would, would, uh, would actually serve me well. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should do some hiking. I feel like uh, it wouldn't be bad for me. Palette a little bit because the palette does get messy. Clean the palette very quick. I hope you guys are having fun watching this because I am having a blast painting it. I love uh, just you know taking on different different uh, subjects. I know you guys see me paint a lot of landscapes and stuff like that, but I do like taking on different subjects. Uh, some of them are not as uh, as abstract, some of them are more abstract, just depends. It depends on how I am how I'm rolling with it. But uh, but yeah, nevertheless, sometimes it gets abstract. I think I like that word. I don't even I don't I don't even think I use that word correct, nevertheless. I think I just I like the way it sounds and I end up using it. <laughs> I just think I like the way it sounds, yeah. That's about right. I'm like, nevertheless, where it doesn't go. <laughs> but you guys get me. I hope so. And if you guys don't... Oh, I think you guys are starting to get my, my thing here. I think you guys are starting to, to appreciate my awesomeness. Some of you, at least. You know, it really comes down to um, to your 
to your boys. It really comes down to how you see the world. Do you see it very, very serious? Then it'll be serious. You know, your, your paintings, I, that's, that's what I think anyways, I don't know. If you see your, 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 uh, yourself as a very serious person, I really think that that's what it is. Then your paintings, I believe, will, even if they're abstract, they're going to look serious. I think that m most of uh, life itself is sort of a, it's got both of that, you know, it's, it's serious, but it's also, it's also sort of like a joke. So that's how I, th I take things, you know, I, I, think, I take things as, as there's a seriousness to things, but there's also that, that, um, that other aspect that almost uh, just funny, you know, like a funny aspect to life where, where it almost seems like, like a joke. Like, like, yeah, life is serious, but it's also, it's also not. And there's moments where it feels very serious, and I think that usually in those moments, uh, we lose ourselves for some reason. I don't know why we tend to do that as humans, but we're trying to... get somewhere or match some uh, idea of ourselves, whatever we're doing. You know, it's... I think anyways, I don't know. It's probably not that either. But if it is, then I guess we just figured out something else about life. Something else we didn't know. Another uh Another mystery of life. Who knows? <laughs> Painting is, is, is very much like life. You you are uh, you have two options. You either Go with the flow, or you force yourself there, painfully, I think. <laughs> uh, I think there's, that's, that's really the, the, the whole thing about life, you know, you're, you're either, you're either too invested in trying to match an idea in your mind about something, or, or you're, you're cool with it, you know, you tell yourself, you know what, life, I'm all for you, bring it on, any way you want it. Or something like that.
Sometimes I even like to do this kind of stuff. Why? Because it's about the flow, guys, okay? But sometimes I'll go and use the back end of my brush. Just because uh, just because I can. Because I'm allowed to. <laughs> There's many artists who, uh, who think uh, we're, we're walking around with our hands like this, like, let me see if I can see my hands, yeah. Like, oh man, I can't do that, I can't do that. I was one of those artists, I'm not really trying to be uh, 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 mean about it. I'm not trying to hurt anyone's, hurt anyone's feelings by that, but, you know, we have to learn to, to be okay with, with, um, We're letting control, letting go of control. We have to be okay with that. I believe that in artwork, especially in artwork, when you let go of control, and I mean it in a Zen way, not in a, in a well, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm just not gonna care. That's not letting, letting control is actually caring more, but truly caring, not just mentally caring. When you let, when you, you know, um, let go of control, you become more in tune, kind of like in the zone. But it's a practice, you know, it's not like, oh yeah, I'm going to let control, and then all of a sudden, like, because Trujillo told me <laughs> that I was going to become more in tune. Uh, it's, a, it's a practice, of course, right? Like everything else, it's a practice. But... Um, it's definitely something that, that is worth practicing. I think. I think the, the rewards are very, very, uh, they're very, they're very good. The rewards of dropping control, I think, are... Are worth every every day you practiced. If this was a time-lapse video, guys, it would look so awesome. But I'm sorry I didn't make a time-lapse video for you guys. <laughs> but it would look awesome if it was a time-lapse video. I could just imagine it. Three seconds later. And I'm done with the painting. <laughs> But I love doing this. This is way awesome. It's totally outside um, the norms of what we're supposed to do as artists. Uh, and for that, I'm happy. Then I'm a total impressionist.
this paint uh, is not uh, very loose as in some of my other paintings and uh, there's a reason for that. I like to keep it that way sometimes. <laughs> See there's a reason for everything you guys. So there we go. So I didn't have such such a extensive dialogue this time. Um, I think I I, I uh, try to be more in the in the painting right now, but um, than what I usually do. Right, I usually just go for the dialogue right away. But I don't know. I was just feeling the painting so much right now that I'm like, hold on, you guys. I'll talk right now. Maybe some of you are happy that, that I'm not talking that much. Like, Finally, this guy, you know, stays quiet for a painting. But uh, I promise you, I won't let you down. <laughs> I, will, I will stop talking for the next painting. <laughs> I promise you, I will let you down. Whoever, whoever doubted me to talk, I promise you. I won't let you down. I will continue my talking. And you will think it's awesome. <laughs> this is what I call an impressionist. No, I just made up that word. I don't think that's French. But if it was, it would sound really cool. So, light. Okay. Let's do a See what I mean guys, with me you don't have to have time lapse videos. We get done right away. Microwave painting. <laughs> Super awesome. Just 
having too much fun. So like, I should be done with this painting because I usually just go for it. But you know what? This one, I'm having so much fun that I'm sorry guys if I'm not done with this painting yet. Sometimes I'll get carried away. Nevertheless, 